30 days of growth. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God, look at that. Woo! All right, so we're gonna shave all this off right now. I have um, four razors I'm gonna use for sure, and I'm gonna try out a couple other ones as well, um, probably more towards the middle of the video. What I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna be using feather blades in every razor I use today besides one, which I don't have any feather blades for that particular type of razor. So um, let's get started. I have put a lot of thought into this. So uh, I know on my channel, I do like the uh, leaf razors a lot. Everybody knows I love these. Um, feather, <laughs> my all time favorite, Rockwell 6C, this thing with a number six plate, forget about it. it it's my go-to. But I think this twig is going to, you know, suffer a little bit when it comes to this comparison because this one has a two or a 0.2 millimeter uh, gap difference than this one. Now this one is smooth as hell. This is a this razor you don't have to think to use, and I just want to see if it can, you know, get through 30 days of growth. Wow! All right, so we'll see. So, um, to start all this off, I am going to prep. Now, I just, I did just get out of the shower, but, and I washed my face real good, warm, hot water, but I want to do a little more because this is going to, you know, this could hurt in the long run. So, I've got some beard wash here. Um, I ordered this stuff, I don't know, eight, nine months ago and didn't particularly care for some of the products, but I didn't use this. I did try their beard oil, you know, when I had, when I was letting this grow out. It did help with the itchy, you know, it being so itchy, but um, it gave me like a greasy effect on my face and I didn't care for that. All right, so, As you can see, there is a ton of freaking growth here. Let me rinse this off. Now again, this is this is just my prep. All right. Smells pretty good. I think it was a uh, ladies' man. All right, Nick, call up. Yeah, hello, ladies' man. Uh, yeah, I've been with my girlfriend for a few years now, and uh, we like to have sex and all, but. Yeah, that sounds good to me. But it, it gets kind of boring. So is, is there any way we could uh, spice up our love life? Well, yeah, there are, uh, there are a number of possibilities that uh, you can pursue. Uh, may I suggest you consider the butt? <laughs> All right. Okay, that set it up really good. As you can see, there's a lot of growth here. I mean, just a lot of growth. So with today, I'm going to be using Executive Man. This is one of my go-to shave soaps. Um, it's slick. Um, I, I face lather with it a lot. I love it. Um, so I'm going to use that one. I am going to use my uh, handy dandy shave bowl, collapsible, by Sterling Soaps. Uh, I think it's six dollars still online, so that's a great deal. So I'm just going to prep this uh, Simpson synthetic T3 knot, one of my favorite knots. And the nice thing about a synthetic knot, you don't have to soak them in water the whole entire time while you're taking a shower. These things are easy. So it's prepped, and I'm even going to take the water out. So now I'm going to grab some soap. Or oh, you know what I wanted to do first? I want to put some water, oops, some water in here for a prep as well. So what you do is you put some water in your puck to get bloom water because I don't have any shave oil. I need to probably buy some shave oil, that pre-shave oil. Uh, Leafs said they had a new one out, so I think I might uh, spring for that 
So now I'm just going to use this as a pre-shave and it's slick. I mean, you can already tell your face is getting slick. Now again, I've got 30 days of growth, so, you know, it doesn't foam up as good as it normally does. All right. Okay. So hogwash, wash face, good. Bloom water for my pre-shave, done. Since Simpson Synthetic T3 Nut, going in for some soap. Yeah, this stuff's amazing, dude. Love this stuff. I like that Tobbs as well, the Taylor of Old Bond Street. That stuff's really good too, but I don't face lather with it. I don't want to face lather. All right, so let me get some water. Now, I always go back to the sink and grab water. And I know when I was learning how to do this, and thanks everybody, it's, it's my one year anniversary on November 29th. So this channel's been open for one year now. Thank you so much, we have over 2,000 subscribers growing daily and just thank you so much but in my search for learning how to wet shave people are like you know dip the tips of the brush in the water well they really weren't showing it and they actually meant the tips and you want to shake it out too and then go back to it Oh, good Lord, got a little slick. Well, that happens. Grab your almond block, right? Dip it in your water, put that on your fingers. Little tip, now this thing won't come out. But I'm gonna have to grab some more soap, I think, because that went totally submerged in my sink. No, nope, maybe not. But look at this soap pop. And pop, I mean, setting up. I might even zoom in on that, just so you can see a little better. Isn't that awesome? Now I do have a bit of a cold, so you guys are gonna have to bear with me on that as well. Um, okay. Wow, get a gruesome look at that. That's a lot, dude. All right, that's in there real good. So I'm gonna take my first feather blade out and I'm gonna load the Mercur 34C first. So Okay. Now I am going to cork all of these feather blades just because the first shave for me with these are, uh, is pretty harsh. So let me, uh, unscrew the handle here. The Mercur is a two piece razor. So Take the blade, set it on top, let it come down any way it wants to, okay? The two post hold that in place, which is nice, okay? And then I always just grab it on the sides, grab my Mercur, drop it on top, start screwing it down, and it's that easy. I've never had a problem with this Mercur not misaligning or being misaligned. 
okay? Great razor. Great freaking razor. And that's what it looks like. Alright, so that one's loaded. Then um, I'm going to go in and load the Rockwell 6C with the number 6 plate. Okay. And I'm going to, I normally don't use a feather blade on the 6 plate, but today I am because I have a ton of growth going on. Now you notice I'm. I did lather up before I started loading all these because I want that shave soap to sit on my face as long as it can. Now again, same thing. Or over there a few times over the cork. Drop it in my top of the Rockwell 60. Grab my plate. I want number six. Oops, I'll get it. Yep, I want number six. Throw it on there again. If you grab it by the sides, you don't have to worry. And then take the barrel and just screw it on top. Okay. She's good to go. Okay, that one's down. Then I'm going to go in. Definitely going to try the uh, leaf thorn razor. I think this one is going to be a good razor to try. So I'm going to grab another feather blade. Now with this, with that razor, it's only a single edge. So I'm going to have to snap the blade in half. So just like you're going to fold it, you know, fold a envelope. Okay. Don't know why that didn't snap. There we go. I'm going to tear it in half to know I have not used that side. So I'm left with, you know, this. Just a half of a blade. Okay. And still again, I'm going to take this cork and run it over this blade a little bit to deburr it. Now I like to load where the curving point is is on this uh, razor blade. I like to have that pointing down. So, will it catch? There it is, I think. Yeah, okay. Having a hard time seeing, but there we go, she's loaded, okay. The leaf twig, I'm going to give it probably one pass. I'm just going to, you know, give it one pass just to see what it can do. Same thing, I'm going to put the tabs on the bent razor down. Okay, there we go. Check it. Good to go. All right. Um... And I have a couple that I'm going to throw in here, probably on the other side of my face. So, you know, we're getting there. It's going to be a long video. So I'm going to go back in with some more water. Start hydrating again. Probably going to be doing this several times during this video. Just to make sure I got a chance. First razor, gonna be the McCurr. I'm going for it. See what she got. Yeah, it's struggling. See what it left. Don't want to go in dry. Okay, so McCurd 34C, not so much. All right, I'm going to set that one aside. It's not, uh, it's not going to work. Just too much right there. Let me uh, put some more on here. I'm going to leaf twig real quick. Just to see what it, this thing does. Hmm. 
it's definitely clogged. Yeah, it, it's struggling a lot too, all right? So, uh, yeah, I'm going to set that one aside. It, it's just too mild of a razor. All right, so let me go in with the uh, Rockwell 6C here. R6 plate. Much better job. Okay. Leaf Thorn. Ooh. I already cut myself. All right. Leaf Thorn. She gone. <laughs> I'm not cutting the hell out of my... Oh, my God. Look at that. Woo! We have blood. Damn. Ah! I had a feeling that was going to happen. Let me put this on here just to stop it. This is my alum block. This is why you want to have one of these guys. Oh, man. That freaking hurt, dude. Oh. Still bleeding. Yeah. All right. Okay. Wow, that's just going to be a gusher. Cut myself really good there. All right, so those three razors, these three razors are out. The Mercur 34C. Out. Leaf twig. Out. Leaf thorn. Damn thing. Got me so good. All right. It's out. Rockwell's still into play here. Let's, um, amazing. Uh, I'm cutting the shit out of my face. Actually, I was kind of. <laughs> Thinking that was going to happen anyways. But damn. All right. I've been, I'm on a lot of uh, Tylenol right now because I've been up and down a ladder all week. And oh man, my hip's hurting me. Need another surgery on the on the other hip. Um, so I I didn't flip the McCurr. So I'm going to give it a little, another shot back here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I did notice when I was, after I rinsed it out, there was so much hair clogged in it. So I'm like, okay, well, I didn't flip it. Well, just did, and it's still not aggressive enough. That being said, I'm going to take out the blade in this one. Okay, set it aside. And... I'm going to bust out the Mercur Futur. I'm just going to set that guy on top. Okay. This is totally off script. Not that I write one. <laughs> All right. Cap goes on. You're loaded. Uh, where am I going to start on it? The nice thing is... This, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen these, but it spins to whatever aggression you want. Let me try it on, uh, I can't even shave on one. I'm going to try it on a four. Okay. Let's see if it'll. Whoa. No problem for this guy. All right. So I'm going to put this one in rotation. Those three are out. Um, you know what, since we're here, I'm going to introduce the Gillette Fat Boy. Got another feather blade, corked it, I'm going to load it in. These vintage Gillette razors are so easy to load. Um, the setting I have it on is one, 
Um, I'm going to bump this one up to a three. You know what? No, I'll put it on a four as well. All right. So let me lock him back down. And let me see if I can't get rid of some of that blood. Man, that's pretty deep. That's stinging pretty damn good. Add some more soap. Okay. It's going through it. It's getting clogged, but it's going through it. Yeah, you can see the, you know, hairs just wanting to stick in there. Yeah, that one's going to, that one's definitely going to work. All right. How do you get the hair out of there? Undo it, maybe? Oh, boy. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. That one's out. I think what I'm going to do is finish up this side. And so I can get that blood to stop. So I'm going to go in with. Well, the rock wall. Getting clogged quickly. Let's go back to the Mercure Futur. Potato peeler is working really good. All right, take the Rockwell down here. That's nice. Man, I can't believe that's not, that hasn't stopped. And it stings every time I put. Ooh, come on, baby. Okay, got one cut so far. We're going to introduce a new razor. Gravity straight razor. Everyone was asking for it, so let's. Uh, no, I don't know how to shave with these so well. Well, scared. Let's go. Yeah. I'm afraid to press down on it. Wow, that's the best I've ever done. I think I'm going to stick with it. That's pretty good. You see if I can't go further. Ooh. Might have got myself there. Maybe there too. OK. 
Okay. Wow. Okay, now my hair grows up here, so I'm gonna see if I can't switch that. That's against the growth there. Need some water to get that off. Wow, I can't believe I'm getting this far with a straight razor. Starting it out is really tough. Damn. Really nice. I'm going to keep going with it until I cut myself. Okay. I mean, I didn't get it so great there, but I'm shocked I got this far with it. Because I've cut the hell out of my face with this thing. All right. Let's try, uh, let's try, let's try up top here. Ooh. Yeah, it's a little dry. Okay. Hmm. Not sure how to go at this. Oh, cut myself there. I'm amazed. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Okay, I think I got that. All right, I want to take it from like here. Wow, that's amazing. Wow, really out of my normal here. Okay, definitely cut myself here. But, you know, I've watched, I, I've been trying to learn how to straight razor, shave, and a lot of people nick them. It's just a nick. It's actually a pretty good nick. But not like that one. Oh, got myself there too. Run the mouth hard. I'm going to have to watch some more videos to get better at it. But I'm shocked that I got this far with a straight razor. I mean, I figured it was going to be uh, the Rockwell 6C the whole way. But it's not. Um, I am going to... I'm going to do the second pass over here with that straight razor. And just to see where I'm at. Now, I'm going to hydrate over here too. Get that stop, you know, 
get that to stop bleeding. I don't think it's going to stop bleeding anytime soon. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to take some of this out. Put it down here. Okay. Yeah, that, that thing's a gusher. Got myself really good. I think that was a thorn razor, which I'm having a hell of a time with. I think I should probably send that in. I don't. I think something's wrong with it because a lot of the viewers, a lot of you guys love that razor, and I, I always cut myself with it. So <coughs> um, I'm going to go back in with this gravity razor here. Okay. I think I should go up the entire time. Okay. Yeah, I can't get that. Definitely not holding this thing the right way. Um, but I'm digging that. That's pretty good. I could I can't seem to get that line cut in the way I want though. You know what I mean? Like right there. I can't see it. Down here it was great. Um, took off. I mean, I took off that. Let's see what the Rockwell can do now with um, all that growth. Yeah. Rockwell, no problem. Such a smooth razor. Okay, I'm gonna leave some for the McCurr Futur. I mean, I think it's it's definitely a you know it works. Yeah, it it's eaten through all that. Let me try to get line that up. All right, I went down and grabbed some more soap. So I do want to go across the green. Now I can say that we're with a straight razor, it's irritated over here. And quite frankly, I'm pretty proud of myself with going that far with the damn thing. Well, you know what? Let me go with the Rockwell on this side because it's a smooth razor. Okay. Yeah. Really nice. Um, I'm going to bump this um, Mercur Futur down to down to a one. Ooh. And this is a potato peeler for sure. Yeah, that's against the grain for me. I'm not going to go against the grain down there on that side. But I am going to try it with the Rockwell. 
Yeah, it's so smooth. Perfect. Ton of irritation right here. A little bit right here. Obviously there where I got nicked. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I'm not ready to use a straight razor yet. At least down here. Uh, over here. Nothing here. Yeah, that was, uh, that was interesting for 30 days of growth. So what failed? The Mercur 34C failed. Too much for it, even when I flipped it. Uh, the leaf shave razors for 30 days growth, couldn't go through it. The twig, it suffered a lot. The leaf thorn cut the shit out of my face. It's out. Um, Rockwell 6C did a great job. The Gillette Fat Bite did okay, but I had a lot of hairs getting stuck in the razor, so that was hard for me. Mercur Futur, whoo, potato peeler. More aggressive than anything I have ever used. Even the uh, R41 that I have that's a closed comb, or open comb, I mean, that thing is more aggressive than it. And I would have used it, but uh, I gave that way to a subscriber last month on a free giveaway. So um, he got that. Aftershave products, well, I can tell you what I'm gonna use. Nivea, love this stuff. Absolute favorite. Okay. Okay. Uh, phew. 30 days of growth, here's, here's what we're left with. Uh, I am gonna go in with the, uh, I have some peanut clippers. I'm gonna go in and you know mow that down a little bit, shape it up. Um, I might put that on camera, probably not. Uh, but all in all, I mean, I was amazed how good this straight razor did. Um, I, uh, that straight razor went right through 30 days of growth, no problem. Um, I can't, obviously I'm not good enough to do my neck with, Again, you know, I did nick myself there, but that's not a big deal. Down here, uh, yeah, I. that's why I went to a safety razor, so I wouldn't have all this irritation on my neck. This side's perfect. So, you know, we got that going for us. The Rockwell 6C, again, did an excellent job, went through it. You know, it's a safety razor, same as the Potato Peeler, the uh, Mercur Futur. Um, this did a hell of a job, too. Um, I would definitely recommend this for taking off a ton of growth. 30 days of growth. Here's what we're left with. Battle wounds. Wow. <laughs>